And we have uh, breaking news out of LAX, uh, Los Angeles International Airport. Uh, a gunman shot and killed a TSA, a Transportation Security Administration uh, worker, at LAX. Um, the gunman is in custody. He was wounded by police. From what we know, it happened at Terminal 3. It happened this morning. And uh, here's what we know. The gunman acted alone. There was a press conference that's being held right now. It's uh, almost over. We learned that about seven people have been treated uh, after the shooting. A TSA agent, as mentioned, is killed, another wounded. Uh, they believe the gunman acted alone. He uh, walked up to the, uh, the screening area or the uh, security uh, desk and um, pulled out a concealed AK-47, so they say. He, uh, he shot the TSA agent. He went through the checkpoint. He continued shooting into the screening area where he was uh, shot by a police officer. Uh, there is a report uh, out of L.A. Uh, that uh, the uh, suspect himself might have been an off-duty uh, TSA officer. No confirmation on that. We have one TSA agent killed, one wounded. And joining us right now is Mark Henry. Uh, Mark and his wife uh, are eyewitnesses to what took place. Hello, Mark, sir. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. The question is uh, you. How are you. How are you and how are you, how's your wife? I'm shaking up. Yeah, we're both uh, obviously still pretty shaken up, but uh, I mean, we were right there. Just our belongings were on the belt, just going through the TSA checkpoint, which was up one uh, flight. Well, actually, there's an escalator that goes up to it, so we were up one floor from where we heard all of the gunshots. It sounded like the gunshots were right at the base of the escalator. So, yeah, it was a real scary scene there this morning for sure. So explain it to us. So, you know, most people, we pull up in a car or a cab or, or and someone drops us off at the curb, and then you could either check your bags at the curb or you go inside and check them or you wait online. So tell us where you were and where, where the shooting took place. Well, we came in and we checked in, and then uh, we walked down to get, to get to the screening, which uh, we had to take an escalator up to the next floor. Uh, we checked our bags. And like I said, we waited in line, and we got all the way up to the front where we were just putting all of our belongings on the belt to go through the, the screening process. And that's when we heard we heard about uh, eight shots right, you know, just in a row, bang, bang, bang. And then we all kind of hit the deck, and uh, the shots were coming from the lower floor, which, you know, seemed to be at the base of the escalators. Um, and we weren't sure if the suspect was going to come up the escalator or not so we all just we we fled the scene and we rushed through the tsa checkpoint into the uh the gate area and we ran all the way down uh, terminal terminal three and then we we um, we went through one of the terminal uh gate doors actually like where you would board an aircraft and went down onto the tarmac and we just kept we ran all the way over to terminal two and uh, my wife only has one shoe. I mean, her ID, everything was left back there. Uh, my briefcase, all that stuff was left on the TSA belt. Uh, we just, you know, we literally ran for our lives. What, and, uh, what, what were you? Th I mean, obviously, you don't know how many gunmen there are. You don't know, like you said, whether or not the gunman's going to come up the escalator. So you're just. I mean, I, I think I. I, I, I believe you had said that it was like a dream. Like you thought it was. Uh, you know, was it slow motion? What, what was it like? There's no dream. It's a nightmare. Yeah, exactly. This is something. This is like something you'd see in a movie, man. I mean, it was, it was playing out real time, and uh, yeah, it was a real scary uh, situation for sure. And and how were the authorities at all? I mean, what kind of was there any coordination, any uh, comfort at any point, or was it you know total well, what every man for himself kind of run, run, well, run chaos? Yeah, that's what was kind of interesting, and I've asked a few reporters here uh, this morning um, if. It was my understanding that all the TSA agents were armed, but I'm not I'm not sure of that. But um, all the TSA agents that were surrounding us were running in front of us. You know, I would think that they would kind of, um, you know, provide some cover or, you know, there's got to be somebody in that screening area that is armed. I mean, I, I would think they would be, you know, providing cover on somebody coming up that escalator that has a weapon to, you know, kind of, 
shut them you know, shut them down at the at the pass. Right. No, I don't. I don't believe they are all armed. As a matter of fact, one of our uh, one of our workers here, one of uh, uh, in the control room, uh, said that uh, a relative of his was a TSA uh, worker, and she, they they're not all armed at all. Oh, they are not. Okay. Well, I'm sure that at that checkpoint, there's got to be, a, you know, at least one or two that that are armed. I would, I would like to, I would like to think so. We're talking to Mark Henry. Uh, he and his wife were caught up in the chaos uh, uh, as the gunman shot his way past screeners at LAX with uh, an assault rifle. One TSA agent killed, uh, another wounded, and seven people treated uh, or taken to hospitals. Um, so, what, what's the situation like now? Where are you? Are you waiting to be interviewed by authorities, or are you free to go, or what? Yeah, but he didn't. The gunman didn't uh, shoot his way past screeners. He never got through the screening process. Oh, he didn't. He, no, 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 no. He was on ground level. He was on the ground level, like he walked in from the curb, and we were up one floor in, going through uh, the screening process. Okay, so he never got. Okay, so the police officer uh, shot and wounded him. At what point would you say? Um, well, I would say it was probably at the base of the escalators on your way up to the screening process where we were at. So he just so, walked in off the street, basically, as anybody could, didn't actually get through any security point. But when he shot the TSA agent, did he not progress beyond that point? Or was was the TSA uh, Where was the TSA agent that he shot, as far as you know? What was he doing? He was on the first level, on ground level. Doing what? Was he at, at any checkpoint or no? Uh, I don't know. We weren't down there to visually see, but I mean, like I said, you can walk in off the street, right, uh, and and do whatever before you go through the screening process, which is up on the second floor, and that's where we were. So what went on down there? Um, like I said, we just heard uh, about eight gunshots ring out, and we hit the hit the deck, and then we figured we better get on out of there, and that's exactly what we did. And the so gunshots were in rapid succession. Yeah, yeah. There was about eight initially that just went, you know, rapid fire. And where, 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 where is your luggage now, and where are you guys now? Like I asked, are you free to go, or you have to get questioned, or what? No, no the whole airport, well, this side of the airport is still all locked down. Uh, our luggage is all at the, the TSA counter, you know, right where we left it. We just left everything and, and, and ran for our lives. And right now, we're in Terminal 1, just sitting around with everybody else waiting for them to you know, clear the airport. Right. Well, listen, I hear Audrey, and uh, and I'm glad that both of you are okay, and thank you for taking the time to uh, to fill us in. I really appreciate it. Have a rest of where, where are you headed to, by the way, or where are you coming from? What's the deal with you guys on the on the itinerary? Yeah, we're heading to the uh, the uh, Process Expo show in Chicago. It's a meat processing show. All Great right. Show. Well, have a safe journey the rest of the way, you two. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. All right, that's Mark Henry. Uh, he and his wife, uh, as I mentioned, uh, caught up in uh, what took place at, uh, at LAX earlier today, a gunman shooting and killing a TSA um, worker. Um, there had been reports that he, uh, he, he, the, sh the shooting happened at a screening station um, where uh, the, the flyers show their IDs and uh, that uh, the, um, the, uh, the gunman then went a little bit further uh, but um, uh, not according to the eyewitness, uh, but nonetheless, we do have one TSA agent killed, one wounded, and uh, seven people treated. So um, that's, that's the extent the, the shooter is in custody and is in, in police custody after being wounded by a police officer who stopped any further uh, uh, attack. All right, folks, uh, we move on, and when we come back, um, there's a, a man who we've talked about before in this show, He's a nat he works for the Department of Homeland Security as an advisor on Obama's advisory committee. Wait till you hear the things he's saying about America, about a, a, a Jewish reporter, and about Christians. It's an outrage. We'll bring it to you right here on the Steve Malzberg Show, Newsmax TV, and radio. <laughs> 